Hi guys, I get a lot, a lot of questions. Um, people asking me if you can dispatch from abroad if they are not in USA, can they still dispatch? Well, the answer is yes, of course. Um, that's basically a remote job. Unless you work somewhere locally in USA for um, a local company that you have to attend the office, you have to be present in the office. Otherwise, uh, you are independent truck dispatcher. That means your work is remote work. You can work remotely from any part of the world. For example, I live now in USA, right? But if I go over summer, for example, visiting my family in Ukraine, well, we understand nowadays it's not possible because of the war. But if I want to go somewhere for months or two or three, um, somewhere, I don't know, for the whole summer vacation, right? Um, I just grab my computer with me and I still can work from anywhere from the, uh, in the world. So the answer is yes, whether you are in Europe, in Asia, Africa, Latin countries, North America, South America, it doesn't matter where you're at, you can still work, right? All you need is computer and English, of course English, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can hear and see that my English is not that perfect and i still have the accent of course because uh, i was not born here i didn't attend school here uh, of course i'm gonna have an accent probably till i get old right but um to be honest a lot of brokers are foreigners too and sometimes you don't even understand what they're saying you have to ask them a few times to repeat because you do not understand so uh, but, as I said, all you need is computer and, uh, yeah, well, internet, of course, and English, right? Well, and of course, and knowledge, uh, well, if you sign up for my training, I'll give you enough knowledge, more than enough, believe me. So, um, let's say you attended already a training and you started working, you want to start working right the very first thing you have to find the carrier correct the carriers owner operators and truck drivers so i'll as well teach you that in my uh, training right uh, the next step of course you will need an american phone number of course because um you cannot call them from viber or whatsapp I mean, if you are not in America, right? But, thanks God, we live in that world nowadays that there are a lot of apps like Open Phone, Skype, right? That you can subscribe and you can get unlimited talking, messaging, I believe. I'm not sure about messaging, but talking, yes. Uh, you can choose which American phone number you want. Um, you can choose any state area code right like florida illinois tennessee california um, with the drivers you can of course you can uh, you can talk and message through whatsapp viber right or any other web uh, app but with the brokers of call if, of course if they want to call you back to ask about the updates or to make sure if the load is still uh good to go if you are picking up the load for any all those questions they will be calling you first of all if you don't have an american number they will probably not gonna reach you and that's might be a problem so um and to call as well about the loads right if you are looking for a load for your driver uh you still have to call american number right don't forget that we are working for american um industry uh, trucking uh industry right we are gonna be all the business gonna be held in america right we as dispatchers we can be in any part of the world uh doing our job but i mean we we are working with america remember that uh, so as i said skype open phone 
uh, maybe some other apps these i know that my students previous students are using so i know for sure they will work right i had a students from russia i had a students from ukraine kazakhstan turkey um let me think i had from canada of course so doesn't matter where you're at you can still uh, work as a dispatcher um then you might need well not mind you for sure will need to upload vpn to your computer because uh, some of the websites like government website that we are going to be using they will be locked you won't be able to open just regular uh, through like straight to the website from a, any other part than usa right so you will need the vpn for that uh, what else well you guys remember that I'm from Ukraine right and uh, a lot of people of course they 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 don't get chance to move here right I got a chance 12 12 years ago and I moved here and I stayed here and I live here my son was born here I married here well basically that's now my home country so but a lot of people cannot because of the visa process and all that so don't worry you will be still working with american trucking industry and making american salary it doesn't matter where you're at or you home somewhere in europe or you live in uh, usa and you go on vacation for three uh, for three um, months over the summer right <sighs> Well, I'm recording this video after a long day at work so uh, don't worry you can still yes you can still dispatch from any part of the world uh, as well I want to uh, thank all my students that already attended the classes that are going to attend I really appreciate you guys all of you um, and I want to tell you one thing that before I started a dispatching training, right, a dispatching school, um, well, I, I have like five, six years experience in this industry. I used to drive, as if you saw my video, um, you have to scroll down. Um, I started this journey, the trucking business journey, about six years ago in 2016. Uh, I bought me a box truck, I started driving, um, I lost my first husband, I had to take my son with me, it was hard, um, it was really hard, but it gave me a lesson, and I am who I am, I'm stronger now, uh, but it was never like this, right, before, always, I mean, uh, there were struggles, uh, a lot of stuff I went through with my son, right, so before I opened the Allura Dispatch School, um, I wanted to be sure that I know everything in this, right? Well, m maybe not everything, everything, but that I know enough uh, to learn uh, to teach the people, right? So I signed up for one dispatch class. Uh, as a lot of you know, my classes are not that expensive. Uh, pretty much affordable for everyone uh, I attended I signed up for one dispatch class because uh, I saw it very popular it started popping up on YouTube on Facebook everywhere where I went so I got a chance took a chance and I signed up for dispatch classes well all the lessons were pre-recorded first of all second of all that company was not even in USA so you know it's one thing when you dispatch out of USA but the other thing when you teach students how can you teach students if you are not even in USA and you never saw the truck in real life that's number one okay so their classes were like triple my price um, they had like I'm not sure how many lessons but it took me like two months 
to finish all of them, right? And they were pre-recorded, by the way, I told you. And it was just about the load board most of the time. So I don't know why they made so long, which the load board in my school, we, we, we learned basically in two hours, you know. I don't know why they did that many lessons. Uh, it was just like pretending stuff. I'm not sure, but anyway, I wasted my money. So I said a lot of stuff that they were teaching people uh, that's like kindergarten stuff, you know, a lot of stuff they didn't mention. There are a lot of stuff you need to know before you are dispatcher. Number one is of course the load board, how to negotiate, how to work with that load board. But that's, a, that's what I say, in, in my classes we learn that load board in about two hours. Uh, Second, it's a logbook. We don't know the logbook is those hours the driver has to drive during the day and how many hours they have to rest. So the dispatcher, a good dispatcher, has to know how to count that, those hours because it's a government, it's a law that uh, each driver has to do because otherwise it's going to be a violation. So dispatchers have to know that a lot of drivers say that dispatchers are bad that blah 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 because yes in a previous video you will see I um, I told you the example on my husband how he has the dispatcher for two years and he still don't know the logbook and he just gets those loads just to get and get his percentage and be done and all the staff driver, like in that case, my, my husband has to handle himself, you know. So sometimes uh, he has to sleep three hours, otherwise he's not gonna make money, you know. It's just in his interest, first of all. And that's, that's sad. That sucks, to be honest. So that number two, what you need to know. And it's a must. Whoever tells you different, don't even listen to that because when you start working, you will see it on your own. So, uh, and third, I'll show you guys how and where to find the owner operators and carriers to work with. Nobody will show you that. If they will, they will charge like a few thousand dollars for that. So, sign up. I'll teach you everything. My classes are four weeks long. They're uh, online through Zoom, uh, about four or five hours each class, once a week, every Sunday. So basically, all that knowledge that you could get in college, university, or anywhere else, you can just get in four weeks in a month and start looking for a carrier and owner operators, truck drivers, whatever you call them, right? You can just start right in a month. So don't waste time. Sign up. Uh, sign up link is in description under this video. If you have any questions, there is a link to Instagram as well. You can just direct message me. I am always good on um, answering maybe a few minutes, maybe a few hours. Yes, but it's not like days or weeks. I'll see you in the classes.